youth um, and adults, helping them basically develop their talents as uh, artists. Um, and I'm very happy and, and thankful to uh, Bart for uh, basically asking me if I wanted to host this. Uh, I feel very um, But I'd like to give Bart the floor to, to let us know about Pike and Pike. Um, for anybody who doesn't know us, first of all, thank you so much for coming to our bookstore. This weekend is two months that we've been open. Um, our, our store, in case you didn't notice, um, is a little different because we only carry self-published and small press books. So these are books that you would not see in any other bookstore. And we have books from around the world from indie authors. For many, if not most of them, this is their one shot of being on the shelf. Um, and if you also notice, the books all face out so that you see their beautiful covers and respond to that. I think they work hard to catch your eye. So, at a break or afterward, feel free to browse. There's a lot of amazing books here. We have a whole poetry section. I want to ask everybody to turn off your phones, please. And I'm also going to ask um, to just not talk amongst yourselves while somebody is reading um, so that you can really get the full benefit of their poetry. We invite everyone to participate tonight. I do want to remind everybody there's a sign on the door, but better be reading my signs. So I just want to let you know that you will be videotaped and photographed tonight, and we do put what we videotape up on YouTube and share it across social media. So I want to make sure you know that ahead of time, because <laughs> after we go, oh my god, I should have done that. But please forget that we're doing that so that you can relax. But it gives people a chance to meet you and hear your words and, and the power of your words, and, and it gives us a chance to promote you as well. Thank you for your patience with the seating situation. We're hoping to be expanding over to the Kiwanis Club, even maybe even the next month if possible, so we can expand even more. And if you need a refreshment, Tamisa's treats are healthy and amazing and delicious. You never know that they're not bad. <laughs> so make sure you take a, take a break at some point and get something delicious to eat. Luis is amazing. He's the only person we would have asked to do this. Um, we are so excited to be partnered on this. His program is absolutely essential. And if you're at all interested in supporting them, he's currently got fundraisers going for supplies for his program. And you can tell you more about that at the break or afterward. But I suggest you look into his program on Facebook and follow them because his students and Luis and his fiance Denver are just incredible. So, we still haven't quite grown to the point where I have to lay down some ground rules other than what Barb uh, just asked. There's one more time I want to reiterate, please make sure that you silence your cell phones. And when a presenter is up here, a poet is up here, uh, just please make sure that, that you show some respect and uh, listen. Um, also, uh, I always, always like to sort of bring up the whole, whole uh, snapping thing. You know, if, you're, if you're a snapper, when you hear a good line, great, that's fine. Um, I have a lot of problem with that, but uh, you know we don't have to be that kind of stereotypical open mic either. So feel free to feel free to clap or you know to say yeah that's dope um, because sometimes you know when a line is really good you just want to say French. So um, the uh, thing that I personally like to do um, when I'm performing my work is uh, I generally like to involve the crowd a little bit, um, but. Uh, it's going to take me a little time to actually find the one poem that I have. But um, I wanted to, to start us off first with a little poem that I wrote that was actually part of a, a writing exercise that I did with my creative writing group uh, that I teach on both Monday and Tuesday nights. Um, as Barb said, and as I said a minute ago, I am the founder of a nonprofit. And uh, on Monday nights and on Tuesday nights, I teach a program called Conchas y Café, which is a creative writing workshop series for adults. Uh, Monday nights, I do it in South LA at the Junipero Serra Library, which is located pretty much in the middle of South Central on 46th uh, and Main. And then on Tuesday nights, I teach it at the East LA Library, uh, the like, regional branch. And um, this particular exercise was actually inspired by Charles Bukowski's Blooper. Some of you might be familiar with it. Uh, but the prompt was to write your own version of that. 
basically doing your own translation of Google. And this is what I wrote with my students. It's conveniently titled with new persons or charges. There's a bluebird in my heart that fears coming out of that safe space where the fiera that lives in my chest can't breathe. Timid, it trembles past the aorta, refugee in the left ventricle where it subsists on bacon bits and india chips. <laughs> There's a bluebird in my heart that tweets and bleeds from patches, the esplumados entre los dientes del puma que habita around my throat and scares children. Pajarillo desnutrido, you can't leave, but you can't sing. This line is going to get you. Thank you.